So hey, let's actually go explore this factory now. Hooray! I hope you like Hammer Bros. Uh oh, they've been unionized. These guys are also a shiny example of fantastic localization. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> in the original Japanese, uh, they just spoke in katakana. And the standard <laughs> translation convention is all caps, as katakana, katakana is just usually just like robot speak. Right. But all caps is boring. So instead, we have the Leet Hammer Bros. Wow. Well, until I see some, like, some gamer uh, attire, then I won't believe them. They, they got, like, Super Turtle Beach headsets on. <laughs> oh, wow. What the hell was, was going on with the Mario and Luigi? Oh, they're being kidnapped. In the face? Like, how does that work? It, it's, it's a weird vacuum nose thing. Okay. So, for now, we're just the babies, and we got a little mini-boss to take care of. Oh my god, it's hurting my eyes and brain to read this. It, it, it's a little off-putting at first, but it, it's a little charming, I think. Like, so, the Hammer neat. Bros are Oh, sorry. Oh no, go ahead. Uh, the Hammer Bros actually function as, like, uh, Mario and Luigi do, and they fight in tandem. That little attack they just did was, um... That was a bros attack in Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, called Knockback Bros, where one bro squishes the other one and knocks them into the other. Right. It's a pretty cool callback. It seems neat that the, you know, the enemies can use moves that you would also be able to. Yeah, or at least used to be able to. Right, right. So, their, their other attack is just throw hammers. Uh, I messed up the timing for the first one, but... I guess they throw it in front of you, and then it somehow propels itself forward into you? And it's all about angles. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're good. They're really good at geometry. Like, haven't you ever watched that Angelina Jolie where they curve the bullets? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh. So, um, my strategy for this is just go nuts with bros flowers. Is there, like, do they have, like, some sort of resistance to shells? Um, I don't think so. I'm just really bad at, like, maximizing the damage output of shells. Oh, right, right. And, like, with Bros Flowers, like, I can do- I I think I can do more damage with Bros Flowers than I can with the shells. Right. I'm- I'm not sure, uh, for the hammer throwing attack, like, which bro they aim for, so that's another case of just watching the shadows, I guess. I would assume it's the shadows. Eh, maybe. Um, I mean, there's probably, like, another tell, but I haven't actually picked it up. So. Right, right. I'm, I'm curious, um, because one of those Koopa Bros didn't, like, he lost his fire, the fire damage, the burn on him? Oh, does, yeah, um, Is that, like, a set amount of time, or is it just random? Yeah, I think, I think status effects uh, wear off after a certain amount of time. I'm not entirely sure how long, though. Is it different from, like, for every stat effect, or is it just, like... Every status effect has a maximum X turns. Um. Well, like buffs and debuffs, they usually last around three turns. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about burns. I right. would guess probably three turns as well. Okay. Anyway, now that we've broken their uh, Shroob sponsored Turtle Beach headsets, they're back to normal. Bacon. <laughs> also, we get hammers. Wow. I am not entirely sure why they think it's a good idea to give babies hammers, but... I thought you were going to say the voice. Oh, well. <laughs> that, that voice is kind of weird. Oh, no. I, I think Charles Martinet's Baby Mario was adorable. <laughs> Anyway, here's the tutorial for uh, hammers. I was about to say, like, I can't believe they're doing a tutorial. It's basic, yeah, like, it, it's easy. Hit the R button to switch the icons to spinny, the spinny thingy, which we'll go over shortly, and hammer. Press the hammer button to hit things. 
that's about it, really. I will say, though, that, like, this tutorial is not too bad, because it's the first time... This is, what, the first time you get hammers with all the buttons? Yeah. Also, the spinny thing makes Baby Luigi jump on Mario, and they'll just kind of drill into the ground, and they'll just, uh... They'll become moles for a little bit. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing there. Uh, you also can't uh, do the drill thing on hard surfaces like this. Right. Can um, you still get attacked if, if you know, you're in the ground, or...? Yeah, if you're in the ground, I, I believe if you just contact, or if you make contact with any enemies, uh, you'll just pop right out and you'll begin the battle. Okay, so nobody has, like, an advantage of damage? Right. Okay. I'm not sure if you get attacked from behind, though, if you, uh, if they get, like, the preemptive strike on you. Right. I'll probably test that out later. So, yeah, that's about it for the hammer tutorial. Like, we already went over all the concepts with the first thing. I'm, tr I'm trying to imagine, like, how that works, that they can go in the ground and then, uh, like, dig around. It, it, it's easier not to try to think about it. Uh, the the drilling mole thing was a move in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga as well, except that it didn't involve both bros. It was just smash Luigi and he will go into the ground. Are they part like Bugs Bunny? Um, maybe. Incidentally, if you were to hit Mario with the hammer, uh, he would shrink and become Mini Mario. <laughs> So I was just doing, uh, keep, uh, keeping a, or doubling back to look for something. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you've noticed a couple weird little X icons on the, um, on the floor here and there. Yeah, I was gonna ask that last, uh, last video. Yeah, so, those are, th those, uh, those denote buried treasure. Okay. So we just kinda gotta burrow under the ground and pop up right on the X, and we get a little treasure. Now, is it ever like super secret stuff, or is it like the same with um, like items you find around the world? They're all beans. All of them? Yeah, they're all beans. Hmm. Is it, it sort of like um, the beans in Paper Mario? I forgot what beans did in Paper Mario, actually. Uh, actually, no, what the hell am I talking about? I'm talking about, uh, I'm thinking about uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Those beans you put in... Oh, oh, the magic beans? Yeah. Um... Like, did it kind of have the same function, or is it just something else entirely? It's something else. Uh, okay. We're not going to get to it for a little bit, so... Just keep in mind that we've got a bunch of beans, too. Okay. Also, if you see flashing red buttons on the walls, feel free to smash them with your hammer. Like that. Now I noticed that they were giving like a translation. Uh, has anybody like come up with a translation for this game? Uh, I don't think they could really. I, like I looked at the symbols before a while ago, and I noticed that a lot of them are just kind of like repeating. Like you'll have like two symbols that look like a W next to each other, right. even though the word itself doesn't uh, look like that would work. Right. So hey, let's go crawling through the vents now. This isn't dangerous at all. This is exactly like Metal Gear. Okay, so here's a shroob spiny... I forget their actual names, we'll probably see it shortly. But because they're spiky, you can't actually jump on them. Standard stuff. Oh, just a spiny shroopa, okay. So... Just uh, take your hammer out, and when it shakes, press the uh, bro button, and you'll whack him. Now, is there a reason why they're called shrew puzz? They gotta get the shrew part in somewhere. It's the uh, the normal punny name. Right. I I messed that one up. What are you talking about, chaos? <laughs> splice oh, in nothing. the splice in the good run. <laughs> Anyway, uh, generally you can just kind of press the, the hammer button as, button as soon as, like, you take it out when you're attacking, so it's not really that hard to use. Right, right. 
I left this battle in because it's kind of funny. So when you hit an enemy, you'll very rarely you'll you'll uh, daze them, and they just kind of lose their turn. <laughs> I don't know how, but I managed to daze both of them. And that one woke up, so let's take him out. Wow. Okay, so is is the hammer the only thing that can stun people? Um, for the time being, yes. Okay. Because I would assume that you wouldn't be able to stun anybody by jumping on them. No, not really. You can also uh, hit enemies on the field with a hammer to uh, get a preemptive strike, but that's really hard to do with this perspective. Yeah, that seemed like you should have been able to hit them. I don't like hitting the hammer or hit when I see spiny enemies on the field because I hate the perspective. Right, right. Um, I was just taking a look over here. This is the way to progress, so... Uh, there's a joke there, but whatever. I feel like it's been made before. <laughs> yeah. So, let's just grab some treasure and stuff. I've already lost track of how many beans we found. Is it like three now? Uh, I guess. I thought it was two. Whatever. Mm. Found some jeans for the babies. Oh. Oh, hey, look. Oh right on cue. Thank you, Stuffwell. How to count beans. One bean, not two. <laughs> I was right. Aw, oh, damn. So, yeah, in the items menu, just tab over and you can see how many beans you have. <laughs> Now I'm really interested to see what the beans do. Uh, we, I will show those off as soon as I possibly can, but that's not going to be for a little while. Dang. I declined to give Baby Luigi the unarmed jeans because I didn't want to, lo to compromise his defense because Baby Mario's is already a little lowered. Right, right. So, why, do hey. you have to, why do you have to tease me and the viewers with <laughs> the beans? I'm sorry. They're just there and I gotta get them all. So, here's the giant tree that uh, inhaled Mario Luigi. You just gotta break these bulbs and... Wait, how does... Okay, whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Because, like, how would you take your nose away? It's a weird tree bot. Oh, wait, no, there's another one. Let's go. Okie uh, they don't get first strike? Nope. Because this is our tutorial for fighting with the hammers as a pair. Or... As... I don't, I don't know the word. We got four people now. As a quartet. Okay, sure. So basically, take the hammer out, and when the hammer shakes, press the, uh, the older bro button. You'll... You'll, uh raise the baby up, and then you press the baby button, and you slam them down with a hammer. So you slam the baby in the ground. Uh, I, I guess the hammer is just big enough to stop them from actually hitting the ground. I don't know, this seems really dangerous. Well, yeah, you're putting all that weight, you're swinging all that weight on tiny little baby arms. Yeah... Incidentally, the, the uh, older bros are never going to actually touch the hammers themselves. Wait, what? The, the hammers are the babies. Uh, but then what the, do the older bros get? Is that, like, later? Uh, they'll, they'll get their own tools. Okay. Seems weird, though. Yeah, I don't think I trust babies with hammers. I mean, that and, like, isn't it... Wasn't it... I, their iconic thing in the last game? Uh, yeah, they did get hammers in, uh... Mario gets hammers in, like, every Mar Mario RPG. Right, right. It, it's a little weird that he doesn't hear. But his baby self does. Uh, I cut out that fight with a new enemy, because, uh, I don't think it... It didn't go very well, because I just kind of wrecked it and it didn't get to do anything. So, he, let, let's show it off a little bit here. So, it does that thing that the those shrooms from way, way long ago did, but then 
after it does its shooting thing, it'll pull out a mushroom. On its turn, it'll eat the mushroom. And then... something will happen. Okay. If it eats the gray mushroom, it gets sick and shrinks. So then you gotta counter it with a hammer. But it's a little bit of a misnomer because I find it a little harder to counter the, uh, the gray mushrooms. It, it seems like it would be very hard to aim it. Yeah, like, cause like, the gray mushroom gives you a smaller target. And like, they also seem to run a little bit slower than they normally do. Yeah, like, if, you, if they eat a red mushroom, they get huge! But that just makes them a bigger target. So it's a lot easier to counter the big ones. <laughs> so, so then why did you hit the red one? Because I completely forgot about that until <laughs> after I finished the recording. Okay, so these these spiny shrubas uh, or shrubas are, you know, spiny. Yeah. Is it is it good to use green shells on them? Uh, you can use green shells if you want. I, I'm just terrible at it, so I don't. Also, uh, the spinning Lakitu... Lakitufo, I think? Yeah, there you go, Lakitufo. <laughs> um, That's a cute name. <laughs> he'll, he'll make more shiny, spiny Shroopas, so... Uh, counter those so they don't, they get off the field. Oh, uh, can you jump over those spinies that he drops, or do you have to hit it with a hammer? Um, the game decides for what what kind of countering you should use, so... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I guess that's useful. Yeah, so you don't got... so you don't have to worry about, like, do I have to jump here? Oh no, I was supposed to hammer that! Well, I mean, in the hardcore core mode, you, <laughs> you'd have to do... Oh man, I would hate having to figure out or having to decide for myself which one I need to use. <laughs> so, some of these attacks get kind of complex, and that's just making it a little ridiculous. I'm also, honestly excited to see it. Also, I th I don't think you can um, get the preemptive strike on uh, spiny enemies while you're piggybacking. Why not? Because the babies are on your back, and if you press the R button, nothing's hap nothing happens. Oh, okay. So you can't take the hammers out. That kind of sucks. Yeah. Because, like, you, you would think that you'd be able to. Yeah, and, like, you don't want to jump on them. Yeah, I can imagine. Ducky. Like, do you take a lot of damage if you jump on them? Uh, it's not very much, but, like, I think it, it's still damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lakitufos can also throw themselves at you. I didn't realize what was going on, so I kind of took the attack. I got a silly goose just spinning around 24-7. I wonder if he, did, if he ever gets dizzy up there. No, you see, if you're looking at uh, the production, they're producing uh, pills. Those oh, are okay. those are anti-nausea pills. Oh man, I could totally use those. It's in the uh, it's in the text. Like you gotta read the manual for it. Ah oh, damn, I lost my manual years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see. If there's like a lot of backstory to this one factory. <laughs> Factory with the funky faces made out of buttons. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I kind of want to oh know. God. What... Is huh? that like. Were those mushroom. Like, mushroom people in the green goo? Oh, I. Oh, right, right. Uh, this factory's extracting their vim or their life force. So. But, like, they're in the goo. That's not how it works. Yep. Yeah. That, that might be the representation of their life force. Uh, I don't know, I've seen dark things in this game already. Yeah, we're only on episode 5. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're gonna show me, like, amputated mushrooms and... Uh... Just really gross stuff. Yeah. I am not on point with these roulettes today. <laughs> I already messed up on two of them. Five. 
Watch this. There we yeah, go. Called it. That made up for it. <laughs> so, uh, here's our next little puzzle. Sort of. There, there's a energy barrier in the way? So we gotta take the babies up and uh, go do stuff. Mamma mia! Basically, go hammer button and go see your papas again, I guess. Yeah. Older selves. <laughs> so uh, that that's what happens if you get back attacked. Uh, Baby Mario goes mamma mia, and then he kind of like trips and almost dies. Yeah. Tripping means you don't get to do any actions until your turn comes around. So. Right. Uh, Effectively yeah. lose a turn. Well, no, you, you don't lose a turn, you just lose the chance to counterattack or dodge. Oh, right, right. And you also can't use bros attacks, or rather, bros items. Right, right. I like that this uh, bridge makes kind of a face. <laughs> all seems so very impractical. <laughs> yeah. Like, imagine the day-to-day -day workings of this factory. It would suck. <laughs> yeah, the shrooms have a really weird factory. Uh, I gotta go activate the light bridge again. Hey, come here, I need your help again. <sighs> God damn it, Jeff. Sorry, it just keeps closing on itself. I don't know who designed this, but it seems to work, so I don't think they want to change it. <laughs> well, I mean, you need to, you need to get pay all those contractors to undo the work of the previous guys, and that's uh, just too much work. You know, I think the scary thing is, I think that's kind of an accurate representation of, like, industry in Japan. Because there's, I, from what I hear, they're so unwilling to, like, change, like, tradition, that they're just kind of, they kind of have their heads up their asses, like, with how backwards everything is. I think they still use fax machines in Japan. Oh, I still use a fax machine. What's your point? Do you use it to? Well, I don't know. I haven't heard uh, you, you, people. You thought you could talk shit about Japanese? My my Nippon Steel, <laughs> Hanzo Steel, <laughs> cut through steel like butter. Is it a tool of justice? It delivers justice with extreme prejudice. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> here, here, here's a special little uh, high block. Basically, you just gotta hit the glowy thing. It'll travel to a different bro, and you just gotta keep pressing it. This took a little while, so, um... Yeah. That's uh, a good track. Yeah. It's like 10 coins a hit, so... Free 300 coins. Really? Holy crap. Uh... Money if, goes pretty quickly in this game, so I, I, I'll take it. What if those, what if those like the letters and all that, the translations are really haikus? <laughs> oh man, someone please, please write a true haiku. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with one, just, just to be fair. My OCD compels me to get every bean I see from now on. <laughs> There is so, a reason for this. So, I mean, the ones that we pass already, you're gonna get them, like, off-screen? Yeah, I'm gonna go back for them. Oh, okay. Is it tedious at all to, like, have to go back? Because... Yes. Okay. I, I, I just it... find backtracking tedious in general. But, like, were beans available, quote-unquote, like, to get, uh, even in, like, the first stage or the first, you know, uh, mission video? Yeah, I, I noticed a couple of the, um... The ex er, the bean spots in um, Bowser's castle. Right, right. So at some point, I'm gonna just go uh, crawl back through there to grab everything. Right, right. Also, that was kind of a dick move, uh, <laughs> like a tufo. Let's go. Just dropping your enemies right at right on me. Wait, can the like a tufo like drop overworld enemies? Yes, it can. Oh wow. That was a dick move. <laughs> I don't see you farming for XP. What's that all about? Uh, you get plenty of XP in this game. Yeah, I'm just joshing. Uh, uh, I think uh, I was once once again. 
all too preoccupied with getting a bean. No, I was just probably... <laughs> I don't think I was doing anything there. Like, at, now at this point it's just... You, you don't really need to see the baby anymore, because they're just kind of... hitting the block. Right. So now we're just kind of... watching the block, or the platform go, and we're making another face. This is a really, really, really boring mechanic. Wow, yeah, like, and that's a lot of space to, to friggin' go over. Yeah. Especially and if then, you want all the items. Yeah. I mean, thankfully, if you do the Mega Man thing where you just inch slightly off, then you can just kind of uh, jump, but be careful not to fall like an idiot like me there. <laughs> that was a great, great sound clip sped up. <laughs> Somehow there's, the music in this game is still good, like, even when it's played at, like, four times speed. Yeah, it's actually... I don't know what about this game makes it sound so good at, like, hyperspeed. Great audio design, that's what. Yoko Shimomura is a great composer. <laughs> Although, I, I, for the most part, I think this is kind of, like, a mediocre... one of her mediocre works. Well, I mean, it's just supposed to be ambient, right? I guess, yeah. And so, like... Uh, all the other games she's worked on, like, it's a lot less ambient and it's a lot more, um... I can't think of the word, but they have, like, stronger melodies. Right, right. Also, this is the end of the factory. It's Slurm! Anybody? No? It, this is literally Slurm. <laughs> So, this shrewd wiggler, its name is Swiggler, um, it's just kind of charging up the UFOs and, uh, this is why you don't trust the baby's crammers. For a second I thought that Luigi would have gotten splashed with that juice and then been, like, enthralled to Swiggler. Nope. Okay, so... What Swiggler does is, um, he'll- I, I'm, I'm mentioning this now because he never actually does it, because I kind of didn't show it. Uh, if he drinks his juice properly, then he will charge up the UFOs and they'll shoot at you. Uh, I thought you were going to say he was going to get a snack. No. Also, it's a bad idea to attack Swiggler while he's red, because he counterattacks. attacks He'll send out shockwaves that are- come out surprisingly receptively fast. Uh, he'll also breathe poison clouds at you. At least I think they're poisonous. And you have to hammer it away. Okay. Yeah. So, what you gotta do is take out the Dr. Shrooms, mushrooms, but the mushroom you, they drop goes into Swiggler's juice. So, you wanna give him the, the, uh, bad mushroom juice, so if he gets all sick. So now he won't actually counterattack you, and his I'm, defense is lower too. I'm gonna say this right now, I think this is a great mechanic. It's actually really clever. I think it's really good. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, I would, like, the general pattern is just throws attack and then, uh, uh, poison the juice. Right, right. Uh, it, it's a lot better to use single target, uh, bros items here as opposed to something like rose flowers, so you don't accidentally, like, throw the, um, the super mushrooms in when you don't want them to go in. Right, right. Plus, I mean, you're gonna be doing, I, I assume, like, just cause from what we've seen, the Dr. Shrewds all respawn? Yeah, they just kind of, they, they respawn infinitely, so it's not, you don't really need to worry about getting rid of them. Right, right. It's There's no point going after anybody else. I'm not entirely sure if you get more experience if you kill more of the Dr. Shrews. Uh, it seems like it wouldn't be the case, just because, like, why, why bother? Yeah... In any case, uh, Swiggler just kinda stops doing stuff for the rest of the fight. <laughs> As soon as you realize the uh, pattern for this, 
gets pretty is, easy. Yeah, it's a piss easy boss. <laughs> well, it's one of the, like, aside from Bowser, it's one of the few bosses we've seen so far. Yeah. So, um, if the if both Dr. Shroop take out Super Mushrooms, then just don't hit them. You don't want a Super Power Swiggler. I don't remember what that looks like, but whatever, he's dead. <laughs> Do you ever get an item that displays, like, um, enemy health? No, uh -huh. you don't. I wish you did. Yeah, it seems like it'd be pretty a pretty neat item to use. Something... In this game especially, I would love it to have, like, an enemy health meter. Yeah, like, EGAD's e super specs. Something! Because, like, later bosses have ridiculous health amounts. Oh, really? It's so bad. <laughs> so, so bad to the point that they had to lower it for, um, other regions. Wait, so, like, in the Japanese version, it was even higher than it is in this one? No, no, no. Uh, the American version came out first. Oh, But then okay. when everybody else got it, they tweaked a couple values to make it less annoying and tedious. But we're still a ways off from seeing uh, how stupid things can get. I'm just surprised that the American version came out first. Yeah, it's a little weird. Because, I mean, it is a Mario game, and, like handheld, so you'd think that the Japanese market would have, you know, loved it first. Yeah, it's a JRPG, too. Yeah. Uh, I wish there was a Slurms McKenzie parting around. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure why Swiggler thought it was a good idea to eat a Cobalt Star Shard. Uh, maybe that's what made him, like, super powerful. Uh, maybe. Oh, baby Bowser, what are you doing? Is this really happening? Yes. Oh my god. A plus writing, guys. It's just like the dumbest way they could have ever, like, taken the MacGuffins away. Yep. <laughs> I like how the babies like never stop. Yeah, we've we've discovered perpetual motion. <laughs> it's kind of cute how they just keep spinning. <laughs> it's like a barber pole. Oh man, it's mesmerizing. <laughs> I don't know. Mario's eyes are mesmerizing. Thankfully, the game decides to just take us back uh, through the portal, so we don't have to do any backtracking. Uh, is it that much of a... like, it seems like a really easy to, thing to do. Yeah, but it's a little tedious to walk all the way back, because you gotta get out of the factory, then you gotta go walk back through the forest. And I don't there's, like backtracking. There's no, like, you can't, like, look at a, at a mini-map or something and just press a button. There is a mini-map, but there's no but, fast travel. Oh, okay. That's... Nah. There never has been. <laughs> <laughs> 